Okay, let's see what we can attack with those army. I mean, oh, I do have two Mumakis. How come? Uh, Central Italian or Emilaren. I can also take one of these armies and deal with some of them. Hmm. A really tough choice. I guess for now I'm a bit sick of Mordor army like they seem so weak compared with uh, Rohan but with uh, Rohan I mean he's uh, Saruman Lords let's see just in time so I didn't sneeze in the microphone. I mean, I will go for the force of Isen because they give me more resource multiplier. Like now I'm at maximum uh, command points. So yeah, I will go for resource multipliers. The fords of Eisen are the only means of crossing this great river. A strategic territory for any who can claim it. I wonder against who I, will I play against Rohan or Gondor? Shadow falls across ah, Rohan. Rohan. Man shall see no dawn. Okay. Yeah. Here I would actually like to be able to see more of the map in order to. in order to better control them okay i will build a furnace i will bring my uruks forward also i have a long way of uh, upgrading this army to full power and i will continue doing that and basically before be like I will just build, um, I have how many free pikemen and archers. So yeah, basically they are attacking and they just destroy their best units on my on my uh, guys, and I will go with my guys and yeah usually the enemy AI is dumb like that they will rush their enemy their units in a attack and then yeah they will lose everything uh, but I don't know if they have a castle like with walls because then I will also need like a siege work Yeah, 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 they will rise. Um, I want more economy first, and then we'll see. Hey. You will slowly push forward. Lourdes also. I need to get him to level 6, even though he's not very good, like... Yeah, the the archers are not as good as mine, so yeah. But they can be annoying because they are pretty cheap and yeah. I guess I should use also more my like uh, command uh, command command groups. So yeah, in order to deal more effectively, effectively with them, I will try to get to level 2. Yeah, it's an attack and they will just die because they rush into pikemen's. Sorry, 
so young. Also, lords come here. Come and attack them. Yeah, I know you're under attack. This is the idea. Also, lords should upgrade because he's pretty like unupgraded. So yeah. Yeah, they use the draft power. Actually, the enemy here, they are using very well their powers. Oh, they are in our camp. <laughs> Actually, I do have to, like, defend my camp. I thought that I could do it without sentry towers, but since they like to spawn me, like, with peasant they are cheap and they are pretty yeah they can do a bit of damage but yeah yeah of course they are attacking you okay i will oh what's the bonus objective yeah heavy armor uh, actually i won't do it i will do as many of them as I can and then I will work on upgrading them okay uh, go back um, like a furnace I will destroy it And I will keep my pikemen back a bit. And my archers, I will bring them a bit forward. They will start attacking with Alban archers and they will be a pain to deal with. But yeah, it's not that big of a deal. Oh, also they have somewhere around here a farm. Okay, I think that I don't no longer need you. I will beat like um, siege wards and uh, uh, armory, and with them, I think they have some. Yeah, they have some farms somewhere around here. I believe I don't think they have a camp. Oh, actually, they do have a camp here with three farms and some guys and some archers and a lot of. Yeah, I can deal with it. Okay, you retreat. Uh, because I almost... Pikemans, retreat. Pikeman, retreat to safety. I will do this one, this one, this one and this one. Because I have to level up my guys. <laughs> like... So yeah, basically I'm just letting lords deal with them and I will slowly retreat them and get into the firing range of my guys and yeah, here they have like a lot. Also let's see what powers can I have, the barlog, I will uh, save for that, for the barlog. Um, yeah, the battle standards. And I think I will just, uh, um, yeah, I will uh, unite the squads. I will make the fire arrows upgrade. Also for these guys. And here I will make some ladders actually. They tried to attack me from the back but they failed of course. They keep swarming me with peasants. 
but soon they will not be able to do it anymore. 480. Lords, he can deal with it. I mean, he's tough. Okay, and I will have to for the ladder, ladder guy to come. I will put him here because here are, are like the walls. Mm. Also, like the berserker can get on the ladder, but that's not really what I'm trying to do. I also need 480. Mm, forge plates. Yeah, destroy all good forces. It's a pretty standard objective. Like, no big deal. Yeah, here is a farm that they keep sending guys to me. Now <laughs> they try to swarm me. But I will be proactive and send all my forces to deal with them like this is why I don't really like combining squads because yeah these guys just do nothing while the others do and you go and read for the walls you with one and you with two come here you Uruks come here. Basically what I'm going to do, I will put the <laughs> this one and then I will just put my guys on the wall and let the carnage begin. Like <laughs> not even doing anything. While these guys are just keeping these forces at bay. Like is just like shooting in a barrel and this is why I, what I should have done all those missions ago but yeah I didn't do it because I was stupid and yeah basically from the walls you can destroy all their buildings without having to breach the, the gates also I guess we can go and uh, I guess I have control over the gate but even if I don't have control over the gate it's still okay and with these guys my command force free I will just slowly push and take this one and as you can see it's way more easier than than what I did it and basically the enemy doesn't care about attacking the ladder carrier. I don't know if I will keep the ladder carrier. Also I think I should buy like... Um, yeah, more rooks. I guess. They keep sending those guys I think I will I will need to go with all my force to take that outpost I will go with my crossbows and also with my pikesman because they have like a lot of cavalry <laughs> they are attacking my ladder So yeah, I will keep my ladder safe if, to see if I can keep it in the next mission. Like I'm really curious about it. Also, did I lost? Yeah, I lost like a squad of uh, guys. Like my archers are all dead. Oh, and I will put that and I put the... I guess they might actually just uh, use the cloud break. But yeah. And I will rebuild my Uruk pits. 
and I will go with the guys. I will go and see where are those farms of them. I mean, they keep. Oh, yeah. But they basically die before doing a lot of damage to me, so it's okay. And yeah, with combined squads, the nice thing is the fact that yeah, they are a bit okay. Go, go back. I think they have another camp there, if I'm not mistaken. And yeah, I think I bought my Uruks and... Oh, no, they didn't. It's just one. Yay. Let all the world fear the darkness. Basically, it was very easy. Mission. And the ladder strat seems so much better than oh, doing with the ballista. I'm so glad. I, and I also curious if I keep my ladder man. Uh, let's see. Hmm. I don't think you keep your siege e e equipment like um, between missions, but I might be mistaken. 